Included with the Compact Elite mat cutter is a baseboard, hinging guide rail, a scaled production stop, and a parallel mat guide. Also included is a squaring bar and a measuring bar with stop. It also comes with a push style bevel cutting head that features a start and stop indicator. It also has nylon guides that allow you to hook the cutting head onto the side of the guide rail. Also included is a three depth position straight cutter. This also has guides that allow the cutting head to hook onto the side of the guide rail. plus extra blades. To install a blade into the bevel cutter, first remove the blade knob. Install a single blade sharp side down onto the blade holder, down into the slot, until the two holes line up together. Then replace the blade knob. To adjust the blade depth on the 302 bevel cutter, find the blade depth adjustment screw on the bottom of the cutting head. Using a screwdriver, Turn the screw clockwise to decrease the blade depth or counterclockwise to increase the blade depth. See that the blade is just barely passing through the mat board and only scoring into the slip sheet. To install a blade onto the straight cutter, first remove the blade knob. Also remove the blade cover. Install a single blade sharp side down onto the blade holder. Then replace the blade cover and the blade knob. The straight cutter features three different depth settings for storage, standard thickness mat board, and 3 16 foam board. To downsize a piece of mat board, first remove the slip sheet and the production stop from the guide rail. Also remove the parallel mat guide. Insert a mat blank color side down against the squaring bar and out along the measuring bar. After determining the size, slide the stop over and lock it in place. To set the depth on the straight cutter, loosen the blade knob and slide the blade to the standard thickness mat board setting. Hook the straight cutter onto the side of the guide rail, pull straight back to make your straight cut. To bevel cut on the Compact Elite mat cutter, remove the slip sheet and set the parallel mat guide to the needed border. In this example, three inches. Replace the slip sheet. Place the mat board blank into the machine, color side down, down against the squaring arm and up against the mat guide. Using a pencil, mark all four lines on the back of the mat. With the mat firmly against the squaring bar, hook the bevel cutter onto the guide rail and line up the start and stop line with the bottom pencil line. Insert the blade and push to the far line. Repeat this process for the remaining three sides. After the fourth cut, the window will drop out and you will have a perfectly beveled mat. To cut a beveled mat using production stops, first set the mat guide to the needed border size, in this example, three inches. Now set the bottom production stop also to three inches. Always use a slip sheet when bevel cutting. Insert the mat blank color side down and using a pencil, mark a single line. Turn the mat clockwise and place it down against the squaring bar. Hook the bevel cutting head onto the rail and starting from the bottom production stop, insert the blade and push until you meet the far line.
Repeat this process for the remaining three sides. As you continue, you will start from the bottom production stop and end on the cut line in the back of the mat. After the fourth cut is complete, the window will drop out and you will have a perfectly beveled mat.